So imagine this like a, you buy a used shell from a, from a junkyard with a basic engine and you come here, buy all these parts and you can just build up a whole car uh, at a cost budget. RB26 entire engine assembly for $2,000. Factory Bilstein suspension. All these popular brands, Tain, Blitz, smaller brands like Julia's for roughly half the price of, of a new item. STI strut bars. You have a wide variety of um, fully reclinable comfort bucket seats to full proper bucket seats. Here we have the Breeday Seat Rail for a SE3P RX8, stabilizer bars, uh, different kinds of bushings and bolts, and we have a variety of engine parts, HKS, SQV. Now, if you're a sound guy and an audio enthusiast for your cars, this is the section for you. Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of JDM Masters, and today we are going to feature a used shop called Up Garage. Up Garage is a store that sells used automotive parts, both performance and regular automotive parts, but they also have their own original parts, which we're gonna have a look at later on. Uh, just a little bit about what the name means. UP means used parts, so it's Up Garage Parts. They also have a shop that sells motorcycle parts, and this is their biggest shop uh, which is located here in Machida in Tokyo, which is actually uh, in the Kanagawa area. So it's off the Tomei Expressway, very, very close incidentally to Tomei Powered, which we reviewed in this video over here. Now, let's go inside and have a look. So over here is the main store on the first floor. They have all automotive car parts. On the second floor, it's motorcycle parts. And when you buy the parts, you can also get them to fit certain things. And they have a small uh, workshop on the side here. And in that corner there um, is a stock warehouse for tires and wheels, which we're also gonna check out later on. So let's go in. So before we go and check out the really good stuff, uh, they also have a corner uh, known in Japanese as wake ari, which means um, parts with faults or just some random stuff very, very cheap here, a couple of dollars. And if you find anything you might need, if you're lucky, well, yeah, go ahead. You know, things like um, housings, springs. You might find something I need here. Japonic, I think you can use this. <laughs> or you can buy a Up Garage t-shirt to support their uh, team. So Up Garage is such a big company and very popular with uh, automotive fans. They also have a team sponsored uh, so they also sponsor a race team in the super gt and also for d1 and drift you can check out on the website below here uh, for their racing cars and they have also uh, the image girls called drift angels which are very popular with uh, japanese fans all right so imagine you're a young guy you've just bought your first sports car it could be a, a nissan silvia s13 or s15 impreza wrx or maybe even a, a skyline or just any sports car. And what do you do? You have a, you're on a limited budget, but you want to tune your car, you want to restore it, and you need to get some parts. So that's where you come to places like this. Now behind me are stocks of used parts. Most of them are in very good quality. So what App Garage does is they buy parts from a normal user, and provided that they are in usable, serviceable condition, um, they will buy that, clean it up a little bit, and then put it for sale, usually, you know, at a at a good profit. If you were to come here and sell your parts, you might not get what you expected, but because these tuning parts are widely available in Japan, it's really good that there is also a network like this so people can come and let go of their old parts and maybe at the same time browse the store and find, you know, you might not know what you, you need, what you can find. And so let's go check it out. So let's see what can we find here. Olin's DFV for the Integra Type R. So you can see here, it's obviously old, and a little bit rusty and, and in parts, but because these shocks are serviceable and rebuildable, you can buy them and then maybe have them restored, but it's a good place to start if you want to find good parts on a budget. Now, not only do they have aftermarket tuned parts, but you can see here, they also have a variety of OEM factory stock parts, and this is for the R35 GTR. It's the factory Bilstein, suspension only the hundred US dollars um, if you're looking to replace uh, to restore your car back to stock you have a car that's too much lower this is really really great over here I saw also R34 GTR stocks for an unbelievable price how much is this 20 US dollars goodness me usable I would say uh, judging by the condition of the 
the, the rubber seats, there's not much rust or damage on the, uh, the damper shell. The rubber bushing seems to be in good condition. Also over here, uh, body strengthening parts, strut bars. Now I do notice that a lot of the parts, because they are based uh, in Kanagawa, which tends to have a lot more Nissan and also Toyota fans. Um, Drift is very popular these days. A lot of these parts, as you can see here, uh, this is for Subaru, Legacy, uh, Toyota Vit, uh, you have a Honda, DC5, stock ones, so you have Cusco, um, STI strut bars, and the, even the flexible ones here. Very, very popular uh, aftermarket and easily available. A lot of them in great condition, and this is even more surprising. Now, this is not used, and there's a lot of them uh, in this store. So you can see the original Cusco factory packing, uh, the staplers, securing has not been removed. They guarantee that this is a new, unused part. It's a really, really great find here. More over here, all these popular brands, Tain, Blitz, smaller brands like Julius, relatively unknown brands like Zeal. This is really great, JZA80 um, Supra, and fully adjustable, um, coilover suspension um, just twisting it right now and everything feels loose the upper mounts very very usable I just got to get an A80 Supra now to fit this because Up Garage has been around for 21 years the company started in 1999 at just a small company like you know dealing in used parts but they have grown very very big and now are able to collaborate with some companies and produce their own suspension parts like this here as you can see, it's an Up Garage branded for the Fuga Y50. And just looking at this, here we go. Up Garage spec damper. So about 800 US dollars, but they also make also for very popular brands. And it's good to see that um, companies are actually making cost-effective parts. And there's a lot of them now. It's not just your um, really, you know, top end brands, but if you still insist that you want like the best, the HKS, the Taint, you can get them over here. So more on the tuning parts. Um, most car enthusiasts, especially young guys, the first few things that they change in their cars get, they want to improve the sounding, get mufflers like this. So this is the place to come to. Right, not that, you know, mufflers are really expensive, but around here, you can probably find them for about half the price. Now, let's have an example. Here I found a Fujitsu Boy exhaust for a Suzuki Solu. And look, it's practically almost brand new for roughly half the price of of a new item. Let's see if we can find some performance car parts. And yes, we have them. Oh, look at this. TRD muffler for uh, the Toyota 86 or the Subaru BRZ. Uh, looking very shiny and obviously not used much. I have actually no idea why it's here, but maybe the last owner who bought this car decided he wanted a, a more aggressive muffler and just sold it to the up garage guys we also have kakimoto right here and as you can see all of them are in very very good condition so a point is that um if you have something that's really rusty and you're trying to bring it here and sell it they probably won't accept it because they focus on selling high quality use parts so now we're at the seat section and um you have a wide variety of um fully reclinable comfort bucket seats to full proper bucket seats so let's have a look aftermarket SR7s, um, this price going for 700 over dollars. New, they're probably about almost double in Japan. And you can also find stock Recaro seats. This is off a Accord Euro R CL7, going really, really cheap. And the reason for this is that it's a bit scuffed here on the side bolsters, but this is probably the maximum kind of damage that is acceptable. Uh, but there are people who would still buy them based on the price. On the other hand, the passenger seat here is double the price because it has less damage. So really this is just a, uh, a show of, of the kind of uh, qu acceptable quality uh, when you bring used parts in. It's not just Recaro's, here is a Breeday seat. It's the Breeday Euroster 2 limited edition 150 copies in collaboration with Betty Smith, Denim Material, Orange Stitch and Orange Lettering. Um, and this is cool how you can find really rare items that you know are out of production and you might not be able to find even on Yahoo auctions. So of course if you buy the seats but you don't have the rails, how are you going to fit it into your car? Well, 
that's where you come to this section and there are seat rails for sale. For example, here we have a Breede seat rail for a SE3P RX8. Again, it's in very good condition. Um, looks like it's hardly been used or never been used. Maybe used one time, you see the, um, the holes for the bolts. No rust, no big scratches at all. So the problem is though, that if you don't read Japanese, the only way you're going to work out what model it is for are uh, by the English letterings here. You can ask the staff and they'll be very happy to serve um, foreign visitors who come here. There's a lot of them coming very recently. So uh, if you guys do come down here and check out these things, um, be sure to ask the friendly staff. So more on suspension parts, uh, we have here uh, stabilizer bars, uh, different kinds of bushings and bolts. Take note that all these are actually new, unused. So I, I don't think they would sell used um, bolts because it's probably not advisable to use new bolts. So um, the prices here are quite a bit discounted from the new parts. Sometimes it's quite a hassle to go on the internet and buy them. So a lot of people do come here and just pick them off the shelf. And look at this, suspension control arms. We have here for an Odyssey RB, we have uh, an unknown maker for a Toyota 86. And we even have stock control arms for an Aristo. We have an entire subframe A86 power steering used um, stock engine member because these cars are getting very old and parts are hard to come by. Half row cage for an A86 Torino, Cusco lower arm bars. This one's a bit scuffed up, but it's also very cheap. Um, as long as it's not bent out of shape, all these paint can be fixed by DIY guys. And so um, a lot of them are also sold here. Onto this section, and we have a variety of engine parts, HKS, SQV, um, looking very, very usable with the instruction manual. At this point, I want to say that, you know, a lot of Japanese are very particular about buying and keeping used parts. They always keep the instruction manual. So it's very common to see uh, when they resell this, that they sometimes have the original box and the instruction manual with the warranty cards inside. Very meticulous. Over here is a new unused G-Ready blow-off valve. Um, probably going for 30% less than the retail price. So it's good to see that you can find also new unused parts, a variety of electronic controllers. Here we have um, uh, the radar detectors, which are legal in Japan. Uh, very interestingly, if you guys uh, come here, you'll see a lot of people having these. Uh, AFC Neo by Apex C. Also see with the box and the instruction manual going for half the price. Just great variety of stuff. Over this side here, we have a very rare Impul U31 engine ECU. You can see here, made by Hitachi, and it's an official Nissan aftermarket one. Very, very cheap. How much is this? 100 US dollars. Now, what's important about having stock ECUs is uh, to pass the Shaken or the MOT, uh, the Japanese, uh, yearly inspection regulations, stock ECUs will pass the emission, so it's useful to have um, these on standby if you have already modded your car. Oh my gosh, look at this. Honda S2000 stock fuel pump for $20. It does look like it's still in usable condition. A lot of these parts probably are taken off crash cars. Um, they sell off the used parts that are still good. Um, to shops like this, aftermarket but high quality induction coils. Here's a set from Spitfire for the Nissan series, which traditionally have very weak uh, coils. So um, a lot of people replace them with these. At this price, 550 US dollars or thereabouts is just, you know, 20% uh, below the list price, but why not? I mean, if you're lucky, you find them here. That's the whole point. And we also have unused uh, G-Ready new generation Cyrus, um, gauges, you can find them here. I'm not sure how they get so much stock of this parts, maybe from a reseller. But um, anyway, if you cannot find them on the internet, uh, this is the place to come. Let's see here. Oh, if you have an old S13 uh, 180 SX, and this appears to be a US miles per hour 
uh, instrument cluster. Well, lucky, lucky find here. More engine parts, turbochargers on this side, intake and exhaust manifolds, uh, down pipes. Basically, you have enough parts here if you're lucky to find and build your own tuning car. So imagine this, like a, you buy a used shell from a, from a junkyard with a basic engine and you come here, buy all these parts and you can just build up a whole car uh, at a cost budget. Maybe that's a project that we probably should do in the future. So radiators, hopefully a lot of them are usable. Uh, if the cores aren't leaking, you, you have here even, oh my goodness, a stock FC3S RX-7 intercooler. Great for people who wore very, very rare. Um, you know, no dense rust, all the, all the fins of the coils are still in great condition. Just amazed at all these stock intercooler parts. Here we have for the S14, Sylvia, JZX100, uh, Tura V, Chaser, EG6, old style chamber induction. Don't recommend this, but um, for some people, they just want the intake sound. Probably this one's a little bit, a little bit better. Top fuel. Um, carbon fiber chamber here, HKS, pod filter, lots and lots of different stuff. But what's very interesting is around the corner, there is a junk or like used parts that have not much uh, value because the condition is below what they would sell in the normal section. So this section is actually just like anything goes. Uh, it's called the Wakeari section and it's extremely, extremely cheap. Let's look here. So we have a set of Cusco suspension. Now, it appears usable, but when the staff have checked it, probably there was some minor oil leaks or the condition is very old. So they're selling it for just $60, old school Cusco Comp S. So you can buy these very, very cheap, get it rebuilt for an additional um, $250 or something. It's usable, you know, but look at this. These things are very hard to come by now. A stock Nissan five-speed, transmission for an S14 uh, turbo version. More over here, Mazda Roadster NA6. There's a bit of damage here to the, uh, to the, the plastic uh, ring. So that's probably why it's here. Or maybe the gears are very, very worn out. I think I saw an A86. Here we go. A T50 A86 transmission. This looks like a good nick. Um, because the car is old, so $1,000, but wow. I wonder why this is in the, uh, the, in the junk section. Japonic, wouldn't you say this is in pretty good shape? Just, you know, rebuild the gears, right? Is that an RB25 or 26 engine? Let's have a look. RB26 entire engine assembly for $2,000. Admittingly, the engine looks really worn and old, but you know, um, these days for a tuning base, the block in the head itself um, still is worth a lot of money. So. You know, if you're really after doing DIY, you can take this and um, buy it. Also, we have S14, SR20, NA engine over there. The cylinder block of a 4AG from the AE86, uh, various mufflers. So, you know, there's also this section. But you're not going to really find much um, unless you're really lucky. So, some audio equipment, old style speakers. Um, these things move, you know, very fast. I'm not sure why people will want to buy outdated ones like this. but. It's not just tuning stuff, and they also have a section where you can buy even exterior parts. Let's have a look over here. Air horns, a whole variety of them, at very, very good cut prices. Headlights, tail lamps, fog lamps, and also aftermarket ones. Admittingly, it's not easy to find uh, headlamps for all 90s cars now, but sometimes you get lucky. One time I did find a headlamp for a Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 4. It's just of $40, I bought them years ago. So more mufflers here. We have the tail lamp section, all red and orange. Let's see if we can find some 90s car parts. And here we have it. FC3S RX-7 going for $200. This is a steal. This is a real steal. I mean, there's no cracks. Uh, the color is still clear. And wow, I mean, it's set left and right, FC3S. Oh, I wish I had a FC3S now, I'll just buy this, you know? Interestingly, they, they also sell engine oils. So obviously I hope these are not used, which I don't think they are. So uh, G-Ready um, F4 range here. Uh, now at this price is actually 
less than 50% of new. The $350 versus the 9,000 retail price. Competition differential oil from Nismo, uh, going at also roughly half price. Just amazing stuff, uh, wipers. So basically, the concept of this shop is that you can come here and buy things at lower prices, provided you find what you want, compared to the Autobax, which is what we're going to review next time. It is a big company that sells automotive parts, but everything's new. Now, if you're a sound guy and an audio enthusiast for your cars, this is the section for you. Looking at these huge 80s and 90s style woofers. I mean, I remember back in the day, friends of mine would buy these huge woofers, just put them in the trunk, you know, no, no usable trunk space, but it was cool to have these kind of huge, you know, almost studio size subwoofers and with amplifiers here. We have got a couple of good brands as well. Rockford, Forsgate, a uh, new one used. This is a used um, old school Carrozzeria Pioneer amplifier unit. Now the good thing is that $500 here, they even put the price when new. So that's $3,000. And after checking it, it also comes with a one month warranty. So buying used parts here, you can be assured that it will at least work. And they have a policy where if it doesn't work within the one month, you come back, they refund you your money completely. All right, so now we're at the floor mat section, which is a very important thing for uh, Japanese car owners. A lot of them opt for these stock car mats and to keep them in good condition. So what I really want to find, I hope I can find Civic Type R EK9 floor mats. I don't think it's going to happen. Let me see. It's just amazing to see some of these are practically unused. Um, not only Japanese cars, Audi stock SQ5, good condition here. Um, even, oh, hang on. Oh my God. But this is made by Seeker. It's red, it's, it's, practically, the, it's practically the more expensive than new because they stopped producing it. No! Because I talked to Seeker and they, they said that Honda actually holds a patent on the shape. So they're not allowed to produce it until later on. So they produced this for a short while, found out that the patent was, um, uh, was illegal for them to produce, so now these have gone up in price. We'll talk a little bit about VIP cars, and VIP car owners like to customize the interior with different lights, but also for convenience. So uh, the Japanese accessories makers have come up with these innovative trays that you can put in your car, uh, very stylish. You can put extra cup holders and maybe a tray for your fries. So these kind of things are also very useful and popular for um, people who want to customize their cars in the VIP style. A bit gaudy uh, in my opinion, but um, nevertheless uh, very useful. And now this to come to the section of our body parts and, and bumpers and bonnet stuff. Um, you have kind of like carbon fiber print uh, outer shells for the wing mirrors and everything and oh, what do we have? This appears to be a stock Subaru duck for a GDB. Actually, could this be from Elbow's Forester when he bought it? This, it, it looks exactly like it. Elbow, if you're looking, did you sell this part to Up Garage? <laughs> I'm not joking either, I think he did. Oh no, no, it is, it is, it is. This is <laughs> Elbow. I found the item that you sold to Up Garage. This is basically a blue Forester SG9 stock um, hood scoop. <laughs> because he replaced his with a uh, carbon fiber one from a GDB C. <laughs> okay, um, more mufflers and also um, grills. Now, if you're living in Japan and you know you find uh, these stock parts for, look here, a GDB E. STI WRX and still has the STI logo here for $40. It's a, it's a real good steal. I'm really liking this shop a lot. Or a VAB front grill uh, with the STI logo. This one's a bit more pricey because it's newer at $200. Wow, amazing stuff. Over at this corner, uh, roof racks for those of you who want to go skiing or uh, snowboarding. Uh, Terzo, Thule, Eno, these are the three big main brands that produce roof racks. Uh, extremely good condition. Universal can be fit on many, many different cars. So at these prices, um, it's very likely a lot of people who only go skiing once a year come here and you know just buy them, put them on their car and, and off they go. So much of variety here, even like whole 
roof. What is this? This is like a, a roof canopy compartment to put your surfboard or dinner table, barbecue pits. I'm not sure, but um, just really good stuff. The Japanese um, love recreation and buy a lot. Of, there was a boom in the 90s for RV vehicles. So products like this uh, were very popular for going outdoor camping, skiing, and maybe a lot of these ended up here. Oh my goodness, is this a Supra? This is a Supra JZA80 stock headlight going for $600. And looking at the condition of this, there's no yellowing. All the lenses, all the, uh, the chrome is still intact on at behind, no cracks. That's a pretty bargain price for uh, an old rare car now. This is crazy. And look even here, BNR32. Very, very clean. Oh my goodness. Yeah. The, you know, the, the glass, the, the, the glass headlight housings for $600. Your BNR32 and even BNR32 Nismo 260 kilometers original gauge with the old lettering here, $300. How much would these things sell for, you know? That's just pretty crazy. And over here we have a, f a lot of different ECUs. I see uh, HKS FCON Pro version 3, that's a little bit of an old one. A little bit pricey for this, but maybe it's in big demand. You have Saad. Injectors 800 cc. Um, you have your freedom computer for the A86. This is very, very popular in the 90s for a quick tuning of the 4AG engine. And you know, I think these kind of parts it's not just you know for people who want to look for tuning but want to look for period correct tuning items, you know. And uh, they're still very readily available in Japan. It's such a great place to come and find these things. And then now we are here in the brake section, Brembo calipers which is meant for the Audi S5 Sport back. And for 260, this is very similar in design to the R35 stock brakes, maybe with the housing you can modify this. I think a real R35 ones, uh, if they go for in the use, will be much more expensive. So um, a lot of things you can customize. Maybe 350, 350 or more, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, perhaps this is one item I might not recommend, use clutches, um, but I think they only sell clutches that have more than maybe 60% or 50% of the life but nevertheless for example here for a mere $20 would you buy a stock Toyota clutch disc and you know have all the labor to put in something that would only last for a limited amount of time maybe for this section it, it, it's probably to buy new oh I think this is it 4,000 US dollars but it's the whole set you have the front and rear calipers plus the discs um, so let's have a look. For this price, how good is the quality? Yep, the rotors are just worn out very, very minimally. Looking now at the, uh, the condition of the rubber seals of the calipers, they're still very, very usable. So let's head over to the wheels and tire section. So on the outside of the building is the tires and wheels section. Let's see what we can find in here. Of course, now it's winter in Japan and the main stock will be studless winter tires and wheels a lot of these are also brand new like this one here you know, very very clearly brand new but it's not just studless wheels here we have Volk Racing TE37 18 inch meant for an Impreza WRX but also rare Nismo LMG24 this is meant for a BNR32 at $3,000 really beautiful and clean wheels um, Tires, maybe it's, a, it's not a high grade, but people will probably buy this for the wheels. And looking further down, Work Emotion, Work Emotion T71R, and these classic Volk Racing CE28 10 spoke design in 17 inch. It says here it's for Alteza or a Mark II. Very clean, not much scuffing or curb rash around here. Old school two or three piece Volk Racing GTU with eight and 18 inch work XSA a lot of old school wheels here I'm seeing Tanabe SSR series for those of you guys who love oh there's one of my favorite wheels from the 90s the Yokohama Advan RG in gold with the blue stripe on the outside this is for a Skyline or a Aristo Chaser or a RX7 and how about this the BBS stock wheel for the Subaru Impreza STI S206, 19 inch at, this is probably quite a bargain price, 
Michelin Pilot Sport 4. Um, still a lot of thread left. Really, really good bargain. Even though these are desirable BBS wheels, but they are stock wheels that came off a factory car. That's why they're much cheaper than, for example, those Nismo LM4s over there. Also a lot of European car stuff of Audi and Mercedes stock wheels. So there's a huge, huge variety of wheels and tires. If you're lucky, you find something you want and you can get it fitted um, over there. And up there is just the wheel section. And there are a lot of different, different sizes. And maybe you can even find some really old school Watanabe's or, uh, or classic SSR's, Speed Stars. Um, who knows? And the thing is, the stock here changes pretty often. So um, people who live around the area do come here very often and even ask the staff um, if they have anything in their network, they go on their website and sometimes they can actually pull certain parts from the other branches and bring it here. Uh, that's the level of service that Up Garage provides. And that was a good review of the Machida Up Garage. Thank you for watching and catch you next time. Peace out.